The British Isles have witnessed intermittent periods of competition and cooperation between the people that occupy the various parts of Great Britain. The Isle of Man, Ireland, the Bailiwick of Guernsey, the Bailiwick of Jersey and the smaller adjacent islands. Today, the British Isles contain two sovereign states, the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom. There are also three crown dependencies, Guernsey, Jersey and the Isle of Man. The United Kingdom comprises England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, each country having its own history, with all but Northern Ireland having been independent states at one point. The history of the formation of the United Kingdom is very complex. The British monarch was head of state of all of the countries of the British Isles from the Union of the Crowns in 1603 until the enactment of the Republic of Ireland Act in 1949. Although the term, British Isles, was not used in 1603. Additionally, since the independence of most of Ireland, historians of the region often avoid the term British Isles due to the complexity of relations between the peoples of the archipelago, the Paleolithic and Mesolithic, also known as the Old and Middle Stone Ages, were characterized by a hunter-gatherer society and a reliance on stone tool technologies. The Lower Paleolithic period in the British Isles saw the region's first known habitation by early hominids, specifically the extinct Homo heidelbergensis. One of the most prominent archaeological sites dating to this period is that of Boxgrove Quarry in West Sussex, southern England, by the Mesolithic, Homo sapiens, or modern humans, were the only hominid species to still survive in the British Isles. British Isles were linked to continental Europe by a territory named Doggerland. In the British Isles, the Neolithic and Bronze Ages saw the transformation of British and Irish society and landscape. It saw the adoption of agriculture, as communities gave up their hunter-gatherer modes of existence to begin farming. As its name suggests, the British Iron Age is also characterized by the adoption of iron a metal which was used to produce a variety of different tools, ornaments and weapons. In the course of the first millennium BC, and possibly earlier, some combination of transcultural diffusion and immigration from continental Europe resulted in the establishment of Celtic languages in the islands, eventually giving rise to the insular Celtic group. What languages were spoken in the islands before is unknown, though they are assumed to have been pre-Indo-European. In 55 and 54 BC, Roman general and future dictator Gaius Julius Caesar launched two separate invasions of the British Isles, though neither resulted in a full Roman occupation of the island. In 43 AD, southern Britain became part of the Roman Empire. On Nero's accession Roman Britain extended as far north as Lindum. Paulinus led his army across the Menai Strait and massacred the Druids and burned their sacred groves. At the moment of triumph, news came of the Boudican Revolt in East Anglia. The suppression of the Boudican Revolt was followed by a period of expansion of the Roman province, including the subjugation of South Wales. Between 77 and 83 AD the new governor Nias Julius Agricola led a series of campaigns which enlarged the province significantly, taking in North Wales, Northern Britain, and most of Caledonia. The Celts fought with determination and resilience, but faced a superior, professional army, and it is likely that between 100,000 and 250,000 may have perished in the conquest period. The early medieval period saw a series of invasions of Britain by the Germanic-speaking Saxons. Beginning in the 5th century, Anglo-Saxon kingdoms were formed and, through wars with British states, gradually came to cover the territory of present-day England. Around 600, seven principal kingdoms had emerged, beginning the so-called period of the Heptarchy. During that period, the Anglo-Saxon states were Christianized. In the 9th century, Vikings from Scandinavia conquered most of England. Only the Kingdom of Wessex under Alfred the Great survived and even managed to reconquer and unify England for much of the 10th century, before a new series of Danish raids in the late 10th century and early 11th century culminated in the wholesale subjugation of England to Denmark under Canute the Great, 
Danish rule was overthrown and the local house of Wessex was restored to power under Edward the Confessor for about two decades until his death in 1066. In 1066, William, Duke of Normandy said he was the rightful heir to the English throne, invaded England, and defeated King Harold II at the Battle of Hastings. Proclaiming himself to be King William I, he strengthened his regime by appointing loyal members of the Norman elite to many positions of authority, building a system of castles across the country and ordering a census of his new kingdom. The Doomsday Book, the late medieval Perry, 